Hey guys, so today we're going to be building a Hello World application using Spring Boot. And we're going to be following the documentation provided on the Spring Boot website. So first of all, uh, what you'll need, it literally takes about 15 minutes or less. Um, you'll also need to have JDK 1.8 or later installed on your system. Um, and if you don't have that, you want to head over here and get it and follow the installation. Um, if you're not sure if you have it or not, you can go into your terminal or command and type java dash dash version and this will tell you the version of java that's installed in your system. So you can see here I have 11.0.2 so that's okay. Um, and you can you have a choice, you can use Gradle or Maven um, and we're going to be going into that. Uh, so completing this guide there is like a quick start um, but I think it's good to perform these steps at least one just so you understand what's going on and how it works. Today we're going to be using Maven um, it's just a build tool uh, Gradle is another option but I just prefer Maven it's preference and inside Maven you're going to have a POM file and this will define your dependencies and um, so we're going to see that. So for this tutorial it's telling you how to set up your photo structure yourself um, but our IDE, IntelliJ, I'm going to be using, will do a lot of that for us. So in IntelliJ, we can just click Create New Project. And we're creating a Maven project. So we can hit Next. And our group ID, we're just going to call it com.code with quiz dot um, spring boot tight. And artifact ID is just going to be spring boot tight. If we hit next, uh, we can just complete the wizard and this is going to generate all of our files for us and our folder structure. So you can see here um, we have a source directory and inside that uh, there is a main directory which contains a Java directory and this is where all of our classes is going to go today. Um, and the other important thing is this palm.xml file. And as, as I said, it just defines all of our dependencies and um, build settings uh, for our project. So heading back to the tu tutorial, we can see that they give us an example of a POM file here. Um, but what we're going to need to copy and paste um, is from parent right down to where the build tag closes. Um, because as you can see, we already have this group ID and artifact ID. This is just... Um, metadata for our own project. So we're going to paste this in and hit save. And once we've done that, we're going to want to import our changes using Maven. And this is going to install all of our dependencies and just get everything set up for us. So now that that's finished, we're able to start. Um, so the next step in the tutorial is creating our simple web application. So the first thing we're going to do is create our controller. So inside Java, First of all, we're going to create a new package and we're just going to call it hello. And inside this package, we're going to create a new class and we're going to call it hello world controller. And it's a class and we're going to hit OK. So now inside this controller, um, we're going to copy this request mapping and paste it inside here. So this is just our method. Um, and you can see it's requesting it to this endpoint. So we just want to import this. I guess, first of all, a better way to do it could be by saying an annotation here called rest controller. Um, and then it'll know what request mapping is. So that will just import the things that we need. So that's our controller finished. And now we're going to create our application class. And we're just going to call this main. So again, inside hello, we're going to create a new package and we're going to call it main. Or sorry, a new class and we're going to call it main. And inside this main, um, all we actually need is the main function here. Uh, it explains what all this is. It's just kind of showing you what's going on with Beans and Spring Boot. Um, so it's definitely worth having a read at that. Um, but we're just going to copy this main method and we're going to paste it in here. So now we want to add an annotation here 
and say that this is a Spring Boot application. And this is a really important step. So make sure you don't miss out on that. And then we're going to import these things. Um, and this isn't going to be called application.class. It's going to be the name of our class that we've defined here. So we've called it main. Just to explain, this Spring Boot application annotation is going to do loads of nice things for us. So this is really using the power of Spring Boot. And it is meaning that we don't need to actually reference this hello world controller inside our main class. This is all going to be done for us, which is really nice because it creates a really decoupled system. Um, so we can independently uh, create and develop these different layers like our controller layer. And if we wanted, uh, if we are interacting with a database, we're going to create a DAO layer. And by the way, I'm going to be making a tutorial on creating a Spring Boot application that handles all of the CRUD methods. So create, read, update, and delete. Um, but for now, we're just going to use this. So now that we have this, that is everything we need, I'm pretty sure. So now we're ready to just run this class. So if we hit run, uh, you can see everything's just building. And now inside the terminal in a second, you should see this spring logo. Yeah. So we can see that everything is uh, being generated for us here. Um, and we can actually see some pretty useful information here. So we can see that we mapped this endpoint onto this controller, which is really nice. Um, and it's now running for us. We can also see that it is running on port 8080 using Tomcat. And this is really nice um, with Spring Boot. So you don't need to worry about any of this stuff. It all just happens behind the scenes. If you were creating this application from scratch, there would be a lot of boilerplate code. But with Spring Boot, you don't need that. Um, so now if we head over to the browser and go to localhost 8080, you can see that we have greetings from Spring Boot, uh, which is exactly what we should be getting whenever we hit this endpoint. So we can add other endpoints here. Uh, so we can say hello and do hello world. And we can rerun this application. And now whenever everything's finished being built and is running, we can now go to forward slash hello world. Uh, just forward slash hello. Oops. And you can see that we're now getting that response. So this is how you'd organize your controller layer for your application. Hope this video helped you out in creating your first Spring Boot application. As I said, I'm going to be creating a few more tutorials about Spring Boot and I'm going to be getting familiar with it myself. So I'm looking forward to that. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.